Kilaman, call all your lie, your howl, by shim. Yahweh Shai, by shim, Rachakwadah, Shalom. Double honor to the head elders, the apostles. Great millstone. All right, welcome to another edition of Look Around and Consider. These things are written. Look around and consider what's written. Your brother Yazayan back again. Through the spirit and power, Yahweh, by shim, Yahweh Shai, by shim, Rachakwadah, man. So we're going to get into the second chapter of Second Ezra's, man. All right. This is Second Ezra's chapter 2, verse 1. Thus saith the Lord, Yehowah, Bashim El Shai, I brought this people out of bondage, and I gave them my commandments by men servants, the prophets, whom they would not hear but despise my counsels. All right. Uh, this is what the Lord said unto his elect, man. All right. To go and tell his the people that he's chosen, whether they hear or forbear. The mother that bare them saith unto them, Go your way, you, cho you children, for I am a widow and forsaken. And that's heavy because it goes right into the 10th chapter that we went into not too long ago in this series, man. Second Ezra is the 10th chapter about the woman that the Most High revealed unto Ezra. Says, I brought you up with gladness, but with sorrow and heaviness have I lost you. For you have sinned before the Lord Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai, your power. There we have, man, and done that thing which is evil before him. See, and that's and that's and that's the main thing, man. You gotta understand. You gotta acknowledge. You gotta acknowledge your sin, man. You gotta acknowledge your 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 uh, your evil, you know, before the Lord, man. But what shall I now do unto you? I am a widow and forsaken. So I. <sighs> Go your way, O oh my children, and ask mercy of the Lord. That's right, and that's and that's what we're doing, man. Father Kashab, man. As for me, O oh Father, I call upon thee for a witness over the mother of these children, which would not keep my covenant, that thou bring them to confusion and their mother to a spoil, that they that there may be no offspring of them. And that's done with the land. Right now, the land of Israel is uh is inhabited. Oh my goodness gracious, man! Is inhabited by heathens, man. All right, the so-called white man and the so-called Arabs and the different other peoples, man. Even Hamites. Let them be scattered abroad among the heathen. Let their names be put out of the earth, for they have despised my covenant. All right, you see that? You see what that says? Going into Deuteronomy chapter 28, verse 64, how the Lord would scatter Israel because of their disobedience. Right? Woe be unto thee, Assur, thou that hidest the unrighteous in thee. O thou wicked people, remember what I did unto Sodom and Gomorrah, whose land lieth in clods of pitch and heaps of ashes, even so also will I do unto them that hear me not, saith the Almighty Yahweh Bashim Yahshua. See? This is, and, and this is where we at right now as well. In America, man. Alright, those those those, those uh, ancient kingdoms. Alright, Assyria, Babylon, Egypt. Alright. The Lord said, You wicked people, remember what I did unto Sodom and Gomorrah? Whose land life and clods and pitch and heaps of ashes, even so also will I do unto them that hear me not, saith Almighty Yahweh Bashim Yahushai. Thus saith the Lord Yahweh Bashim Yahushai unto Ezra. Tell my people that I will give them the kingdom of Jerusalem, which I would have given unto Israel. Their glory also will I take unto me and give these things that these the everlasting tabernacles which I had prepared for them. And that's only for the nation of Israel, man. Now the nation.